<laughs> we like literally haven't vlogged for such a long time on the phone and um Kat said, <laughs> Kat said take a picture in front of this sign but we're all really nervous people and cars and stuff <laughs> here we are guess what we're doing today We're going to explain why we're here. Oh my goodness, look at the water. It's up high. I'll show it to you. There's lots of moorings here just behind us, which is a mixture of leisure and residential. But that's not why we're here today. Just here is the Grand Union Canal. We're at a place called Brentford, which is West London where the Grand Union Canal meets the Thames. <laughs> and it's under the Heathrow flight path. <laughs> We're here at the Brentford gauging locks and they're not manned at the moment, but we have some sneaky news um, and we wanted to share it with you guys. We're also <laughs> in a fly path. Aeroplanes. Well, we should be facing with our backs down that way. Well, no, because this is the lock, look. Okay. So these locks are manned, and I think you make an appointment when you want to go through them. And I think the appointments time, the appointments that are available correspond with tide times, and they publish the tide times so that you can plan. And I think you've got a book like two days in advance. And we know all of this because we'll say it after three. I've One. been researching. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three. We're going on the Thames. Do you want to do it again? I didn't know what we were saying. <laughs> I know, but I wanted to hear what it would say, what you were okay. saying. <laughs> One, two, three. We're going on the Thames. <laughs> <laughs> we are going on the Thames. We're Maybe. so excited. Well, we're actually we're, we're general, here to do a reconnaissance. Yeah. So we're very familiar with this area anyway, because we used to live here. But. Um, we are just doing, we've never really gone anywhere further down that way along the canal, which is actually river from this point on, I think. We want to go and see those locks, but I think the footpath is closed, so we might have to go the roadway. Yeah. Not that it's pleasant walking around here anyway. Yeah. There's definitely a current. Well, and some swans. Oh, hello. <laughs> and there's the road again. Oh, and there's the right, that's the right hand turn that I'm worried about. Yeah. We've, we've relocated. It's a little bit prettier. We're now just walking towards Teddington Lock. So we were saying before we got distracted by Brentford, the beautiful Brentford, that we have three main concerns about going the Thames way. And the first concern is the tide. Which we'll just check the tide timetable <laughs> and it'll be fine. Don't worry.
So this is Teddington Lock yes. and we are here to alleviate another one of our dilemmas. We're here to alleviate another one of our dilemmas, <laughs> which is current. I was quite concerned with the tidal part of the Thames, what the current looked like. And it doesn't look bad. I think I might have in my head confused the normal current from the weir current, maybe. I don't know. I'm looking down there and I can see a lot of current. Just next to the weir though. Yeah. It looks like you can really stay away from the weir. And it's also like March. Yeah. So we've got another month. Yeah, and it's been yeah. raining today. Yeah. So the levels will be up. Teddington Lock and it is a manned lock, 24 hour manned lock and we have turned up here because of issue number three which is I'm not 100% sure how you moor up at a lock on a river. So we asked the gentleman, he didn't seem to understand my question because it's such a basic, basic question. I didn't really understand either. <laughs> I wanted a lock to... landing, you pull up, you get, you tie off, you get home. <laughs> I wanted to know, <laughs> I wanted to know when you see, the, I wanted to see the lock landing. It's massive. Yeah, I wanted to think that I could get the boat onto the lock landing. And I wanted to know if once I got the boat onto the lock landing, do I leave the boat and come and find the lock keeper? But he kept saying to me, and he was oh, such a lovely, friendly guy. Um, but he kept saying to me, you just wait for the lock keeper to wave you in. But he, he thought I meant when the lock was opening. Yeah, so you can, this lock here at Teddington is the one that meets between the tidal section of the Thames from Brentford to the non-tidal section of the Thames that goes off towards um, Reading. And this one has a traffic light. So when the light is on green and the doors are open, you just tootle straight, lock, straight on in. But if the light is red, you stop at the lock landing wait until the light goes green. But then he said for some other locks on the river sometimes the lock keepers are at the weir or they're doing the gardening so what I wanted to know was do I moor up and go find them? Yeah, so <laughs> I know he it sounds really petty but I like to follow the rules. So he said, I'm a rule maker not a rule breaker. He said that when you get to it so in March all of the locks are manned but in April which is when we will be doing our journey they're not all manned so some of them will have to operate ourselves some of them will have a lock keeper. He did if also... there's a lock keeper, they may be doing something else. So, in which case, that's what I do said. It you ourselves. just you just calf splained everything I said. <laughs> There's been a lot of calf splaining lately. Um, he did also suggest that we might like to find some Bodhi friends that were also doing the journey, that knew what they were doing. So watch out <laughs> if you're going to be at Brentford at the beginning of April. Beginning of April, peeps. We're looking at you. You know who you are. Um, drop us a line. <laughs> <laughs> Just really um, slowly, quietly, quietly. You're staring as, at me. <laughs> as we've been filming, um, these geese have been sneaking up on us. We've got no food. I'm oh, so scared of them. Maybe they like human fat like we like goose fat. <laughs> I don't like goose fat. I've, I've never liked goose fat. for watching today's reconnaissance experience um, we hope that you've been we hope that you've enjoyed coming along with us to check out the two locks on the Thames and we hope that you're looking forward to as much as we are <laughs> seeing how we do it yeah 
If you have any advice about navigating the tidal Thames towards Reading, then please write it below. And um, we look forward to reading that. Um, yeah. We're nearly in real time, so we will actually take your advice um, at, the t at this time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> As usual, give us a like if you want to join us on this journey. Uh, you can hit the subscribe button. That really helps us out. Yes. Um, big shout out to our Patreons as well. We've already given them a personal video and a little bit of a heads up of this. Um, so if you wanted to support us that way, you can hit Patreon. But as always, we are just incredibly grateful for your normal support by watching the video on yeah, YouTube. Like, liking, subscribing, sharing, usual. Ah, sharing. Stuff. Sharing is caring. Thanks. See you again soon. Maybe next time we'll be moving. <laughs> Ah ah ah